Hello and welcome to today's product demonstration. My name is Megan Gibbs. I'm the VP of College Express and I'm excited to walk you through our rising senior campaigns. If you're here watching this presentation today, I'm sure you believe that now is the time to implement your rising senior strategy. And I'm excited to walk you through what the solution can do for you to help you meet your enrollment goals and also add to your strategy mix. Before jumping into the product, I want to recognize the challenges that higher ed is facing today. I'm sure as an admissions and enrollment professional, you have experienced some or all of these issues you see on this list. As we were building the Rising Senior Campaigns, we wanted to ensure we were providing solutions to these challenges. So in the Rising Senior Campaigns, names will come very quickly. We have names now, you need them, we have them. It is a budget-friendly service. There is flexibility and complete customization provided in the solution where not only you are able to target the audiences that you're very interested in connecting with, you can also send them messages directly into their inbox. And of course, a problem that everyone is facing, there is just low bandwidth across the board. There's not enough people, not enough time to implement new systems and strategies. So the other great part about this service is you can be as involved as you'd like, and it won't have any effect on the number of inquiries that you'll be receiving. In addition, as we go through this training, it's a very simple platform to use if you decide you want to jump into it. It requires very little training and most of which we'll cover in the next few slides. And everything feels complicated. One of Carnegie's main missions is to provide simple solutions and strategies for our clients. And this product does just that. So without further ado, I'd like to just jump into the rising senior campaigns and what the two components of this product are. The first is going to be College Express Daily Lead Generation. This is going to be your always on strategy. So when I say we have names and you can start getting names today and you don't have to do anything, you don't have to lift a finger, this is what I mean. The College Express team will be sending timely email communications to our rising senior audience in addition to profile upgrades and added presence on calledexpress.com, we are truly ensuring that inquiries are being delivered without you needing to lift a finger. The other side of this product is going to be our database search and outreach tool, which is called College Express Connect. This is where you can find the exact audience you need with access to our entire rising senior database and send them messages directly into their inboxes. So this is where you can have a little bit more control over who you want to target, the messaging that you put in front of them, and really you just have complete access to our entire database of rising seniors. So between these two components, they create a very comprehensive strategy. And I'll be jumping into the database search and outreach tool next. So College Express Connect, what really is it? College Express Connect is an email outreach tool and search database all in one. It is a one-stop shop for your institution to gain access to a, a robust college searching rising senior population and more. And I'm sure your next question will be, well, what would I have access to who is in your database? And that is a great question. Who can I connect with? As of today, we have 340,000 rising seniors in our database. We also have 40,000 rising senior parents. And this population will be the junior class right now who will be graduating in 2024. I anticipate our database to increase by a couple hundred thousand in this population, simply because the students that are juniors right now are going to get really into their college search and they will start coming to College Express to learn more about schools. So one of the best parts about this database is that it's always changing, it's growing every day, and this 340,000 metric you see here has likely changed since I put this slide together. 
So that way you were always getting in front or always have access to new students, no matter what time you were looking to send out a message. On my previous slide, I did say, and more. And so our database is not relegated just to the rising senior population. We also have 1.5 million high school students, grades nine through 12. We have 2.3 million transfer age students who are currently in college and 2 million post-grad students who have graduated school and we are using to outreach for graduate programs. So if you're ever interested in reaching further than the rising senior audience, College Express Connect is open to all different audiences and we can help you meet your goals in whatever grade ranges you're looking for. But this pro presentation will be about the rising senior population and how you can connect with them and create leads for your institution. So how does it work? Truly, when we talk about simplicity, we are trying to make this as easy as possible for you. So it's really four steps. Find your audience, write your email, schedule it, and watch your metrics in real time. And so let's look at the system and do a walk through there. So we have just entered the College Express Connect system. This will be your dashboard of where all of your emails are going to live. You're also going to have access to all this information in terms of sends, opens, and lead numbers. So to get started, we're going to go over here to the repeating outreach and one-time outreach. These are two options of types of emails you can choose to work with. A repeating outreach will be something that you're setting up to send on, the, on different days at the same time or several days at different times. So this is an always on email that is capturing students as they enter into our system. You can also choose a one-time outreach and this will be the outreach that you're looking to send if you have a deadline coming up or an event you want to invite your rising seniors to. This will be the one time you can send that email and you don't need to reuse it later on. So I'm going to jump into the repeating outreach for our example today. And we will start walking through the system. Okay, so now we are inside of the College Express Connect platform. As you can see here, there are three tabs, and these are the three tabs that you have to walk through in order to create your outreach. As we go through this, you'll notice that these are all very simple to use. You're going to build your population, you are going to create your email, and then you're going to schedule to send. And everything is set up very, very simply for you to use. So first, let's talk about the filtering options available on the targeting. Obviously, you'll be relegated to the 2024 audience, but remember that this population is over 340,000 students. So there's a lot you can do with that population, especially within all of these filters. The data and options that you see here are going to be presented to students on the collegeexpress.com registration path. This is where they're going to be inputting data about themselves, whether it's the religion that they are affiliated with, the student sport that they're interested in, the major they think that they might want to major in when they get to school, and all of that. Obviously, we also have regular parameters that include GPA, gender, race, zip code, and also state level targeting. There are two areas on this page that are really exciting to me. The first is going to be the student school choice. What this does is it gives you access to students who have expressed interest in other institutions. So you could liken this to a competitor outreach tool. And if that's the case, you'll go and find the schools that you know you are competing against. And I'm clearly choosing schools that likely no school will choose all three of these. But in the case of this, by selecting these three schools, you're saying that I want to target the students in the College Express system that have expressed interest in one of these three schools. In addition to this section, 
One thing to keep in mind is that we, we require a three school minimum. So you will never be able to target a school specifically, but you'll be able to target three schools at the same time. And when you send out the messaging, it really needs to be about why your school is the right fit for these students who have expressed interest in these other institutions. And that's really where you'll see the win. I'm gonna deselect this for right now. And then finally, the suppression list. Because you likely have a very diversified lead generation strategy, you have names coming in from all different places. Of course, you're likely doing list buys as well, and you want to ensure that you're spending money wisely and not spending money on names you already have. So that is why we created the suppression list area. What you can do here is you can create an Excel document and upload all of the email addresses in your system that you want to ensure that we do not duplicate if that student ends up creating a lead for you. So we will suppress all of those names from your sends, so you don't need to worry about getting that name twice. So let's start moving forward on building out our outreach. So I'm going to say that this is the 2024 Pennsylvania Accounting Majors Outreach. I already have my high school graduation year range set, so I'm going to choose Accounting and Pennsylvania. And then I'm going to click Count. And before I move on, I just want to bring attention to the fact that I am in our staging database. And what that means is that this is allowing me to play around and ensure that I'm not going into the live database and changing anything. And so when you see 32 here, this does not mean we only have 32 students that are accounting majors from Pennsylvania. This just means our staging database only has that number. Obviously, our population, as I've said several times, is 340,000 students, and so this number is definitely larger once you get into the real system in real time. But for the purposes of this demonstration, 32 is a perfect number, so we can move on from here. So after we've built out our targeting and we know that we will be messaging 32 students who are graduating in 2024 who are from Pennsylvania interested in accounting, we're going to jump to our mail content. And this is really where you're going to build your email. You're going to have a compelling subject line. We're going to upload images and you are going to add your messaging and CTA and landing page URL. The best part about this is that not only does this populate in real time as you begin to build it, you also don't need to have any email coding, HTML knowledge whatsoever, which makes this again, a very simple service for anyone to use. So let's start building this out. Connect with Carnegie University today. I've also pre-uploaded some images here. So as you see over to the right, the email is going to start populating with these images. This is a picture from our calledexpress.com website. So if you haven't had a chance to check out that page, I highly recommend it. Um, but I've also added our CX Connect logo here as well. So as we build this out, you're going to see the Called Express logo here, and then also this blurb. This blurb is going to exist on everyone's email outreaches. And what this is, is it acts as the College Express entryway into the student inbox to share your message. So we are the trusted source that is bringing your message into that student's inbox, which means that this is a really critical part of the process. But you can upload any image you want here. We also have a Western Kentucky header that is here already. And we also have stock pictures as well. So you can choose from them. However, we always recommend that you use your own imagery because it represents your brand so much better than a stock image will. So let's go back to the CX demo. And same thing with inline. You are able to start building your own library of images. So every time you come back here and you wanna reuse an image that you've already used, it will be here for you. So you don't need to do the same thing twice. 
So we've built out this image section so far. So that was looking great. Now it's time to add in our message. Just gonna copy something we have on our website right now. Uh, but this message, if we're talking to 2024 students from Pennsylvania interested in accounting, the message on your end will obviously be really targeted to hone in on their interest in accounting, the fact that you have an accounting program and what that program has to offer them in terms of career readiness, in terms of outcomes, in terms of workload and all of that. But for the purposes of this, just going to use a really simple, quick statement that is on our Carnegie website. And so when I say you don't need to know HTML, you really don't need to know it because we've stripped the entire email build out of that world for you. There are very limited things that you are able to do here, and that is by design, because we want to ensure that you create the most concise, simple, direct messages possible without distraction in terms of all the other coding and HTML that is possible out there. So we have something called Markdown, and it's a very, very simple way to add bolding, italicizing, and bulleting to your message. And I'm going to show that right here. So a double asterisk is going to be bold and a single asterisk is going to be italicizing. A lot of clients will use the bolding as a header in order to separate certain areas in the email, which is also a great idea. And italicizing, obviously, to emphasize certain things that you're looking to get across. We also have bullet options. And then regular bulleting as well. And you see all of this build, building right here for you. And so while this is not the right message I would ever send out to a student, this would probably be the amount of content I would want to send in this email and including one or two bullets to make it very readable and easy for the student to digest. Because what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring us down to this button right here where this school sounds interesting. You're going to be able to build your own CTA and also push that student to your website. And this green button right here is going to be the key to the entire called express component of the rising senior campaigns. When a student clicks on this button, that is going to generate the inquiry that we then send over to you. So I do want to take a moment and just take a step back and say, we just on the targeting page found 32 students that match the criteria we are looking for. You will never know who these 32 students are unless they click this button. So only one student clicks this button. That will be the only data that Called Express will send to you through this campaign outreach. Called Express firmly believes that the student needs to make the first choice. We will not send names to you unless they have truly opted in in some way to learn more about your institution. So not only does that make this content so critical in order to get them to really be invested in what you have to say, but it makes this button so important because the more students that click this, the more compelling you make it, the more exciting it is to them. That means this button is going to get clicked more often. And that means more inquiries and data into your CRM of real rising seniors who are interested in you. The other great part about this is you can send them anywhere you want on your home, on your website. So if this is an email about your accounting program or you want a student to apply, you can send them directly to your application link or you send them directly to your accounting page on your website. No matter what you do, you are getting that student onto your website where they might likely have never been before. And that is also a great opportunity that if your website is set up well enough, you not only can maybe capture another inquiry form being filled out by them because they are so interested in you, or simply they just get onto your website and poke around. And then all the digital marketing and retargeting that you have in place will start following them around the internet and really building the brand everywhere they go. 
So there's a lot of wins here. Even if you don't get a student to click this button the first time, they get your message, they get your name into their inbox. If a student does click here, you get them immediately onto your website and you also get the inquiry into your system. And finally, the question I get often on this page is going to be about what happens if a student does not want to hear from us again? How does that work? And this is that button. I'm not interested in this school. We also have an unsubscribe button down here as well. So anytime either of those are selected, we will suppress that email address from any campaigns you are sending in the future. So you, we ensure that a student is not getting messages from you that they do not want to receive. This part right here is part of our staging environment. So you will not see this in your instance. So I'm just going to bypass that and move on to the next page. So we've built out the email as best we can. And the last thing I'll just say is you are able to view this on mobile as well. So a really quick mobile view to make sure your images are rendering correctly, that if your message is too long, what it looks like on a mobile device will always be really important because most students are getting their email and looking at their email through apps on their phone. So keep that in mind. And then we can move on just to the next page, which is going to be our scheduling. Because I chose a one-time outreach, this will just simply have one date that is going to allow me to send it and the time. So we'll do 8.43 a.m. It's important to note that this time is an Eastern Standard Time. And then right here, the mailing limit. So this refers back to the page with our 32 students. So if you enter a situation where your population is huge, let's say it's 10,000 students that you can email, but you don't wanna send 10,000 emails off the bat, what this allows you to do is it allows you to limit the number of emails that you wanna send for this first email. So you can send 100, in this case, we can set it to 10, and only 10 students of the 32 are going to be emailed. Another question I get often asked is, what does the system know, who does the system know to email when you select this? And honestly, it's, for us, it's just going to be a random selection of the students that just are matching that criteria. So after that, the mailing limit is set. We're going to save and preview. And we're brought back to the email that we have created earlier. And it's just one last look to make sure that everything is in place. You still have the mobile view and the desktop view available. And also you can do a no one last check on your landing page to ensure that it's set up to send to the correct link. And before we move back to the dashboard, one feature I do wanna point out is if you want to see what this looks like in your own inbox or what a student would experience, you can click this button and this will send a test email directly into your inbox. But for now, I'm just going to click enable sending and it's going to bring me back to our dashboard. So as you can see here, we have the send that we just built. It is enabled, it is going to send tomorrow at 8.43 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to with 32 people potentially able to send. And as you can see here as well, there was a previous send created that was sent to 100 students while there was over 1,800 available. And unfortunately in the system, we can't mimic the way opens and yeses would end up happening, but as your email is sent, you're going to start seeing these numbers increase. So the yeses and the opens are going to start increasing. So that's something that you'll be able to view in real time. All right, so we just went through the entire College Express Connect system. And I recognize that even everything I just went through, it still could be too much for small teams with very little bandwidth to manage that other system. And so we believe so strongly in the power of that database. We wanna find ways to ensure that you are still able to leverage it. And we've figured out a few different options that are going to provide additional help for you in this area. So to make your life even easier, 
there are three different ways that I'll just talk about right now. So the first is going to be on your own. If everything I did just go through is really exciting, really thrilling for you to get into, get your hands on and really wanting to curate the type of content you wanna send out to those populations, we will just turn access on for you and the system is truly yours to have at and just start marketing to. The second version of this is going to be a templated option. So if you need to get a jump start on content and you don't have enough time to really think through the types of messaging you wanna to send to your audiences, we can preload your instance with 10 general templates of content that you can work off of or just send as is to your target audience. And so these templates will also include our best practices and follow the students along in their senior year to ensure that we're putting the right content in front of them at the right time to aid in conversion. And then finally, custom content. This is where we'll connect you with our communication experts and you'll get on a call with them and they'll really start asking questions about what makes your institution unique, what type of content do you want to get out to those students, and they will create 10 custom emails specific to your institution that we will then load into the system for you to send out. So we have a bunch of different options here for you to leverage if using the Connect service on your own doesn't feel manageable. But even on that front, I wanna come back to this slide about the two components of the rising senior campaigns. I spent a lot of time talking through the database search and outreach tool and going through the Call It Express Connect platform. But I also don't want you to forget that the Call It Express daily lead generation is also still happening in the background. The Call It Express team is still working for you. This is still where you're going to be also getting the daily inquiries from, and you don't need to do any work when it comes to any of this content or information over on the left-hand side over here. So if you're still interested in the rising senior campaigns and you truly don't have the time to live in this world, but you really are still interested in this, that's absolutely a possibility that we can make happen. And before we close out, I wanna make sure that we talk about ROI. I know, again, budgets are tight and we need to be working on strategies that are really providing actual results. And so what you're looking at here are six anonymized schools that represent publics, privates, large, medium, smalls, all throughout the country who engaged in the rising senior campaigns last fall. Some of these schools also represent schools that were not working with College Express prior and some that were using College Express for other segmentation op options and inquiry delivery. This first school right here is going to represent a small college in the Northeast who was not a College Express client prior to joining in August of 2022 for the rising senior campaigns. Right here, the blue bars are going to be the inquiries that are delivered to the institution. And so we're going to see the major boost that happens in August 2022 when the campaign started going into effect. And you see it steadily increases throughout the remainder of the year into October. A school down here is going to be a school that was working with College Express prior to joining the rising senior campaigns. And so they are working with us in finding students who are interested in different majors who are also from different states and GPAs. So we were providing a very steady flow of inquiries to them throughout the year already. And then we implemented the rising senior campaigns and the inquiries skyrocketed very quickly and ended up us sending inquiries that were above average for the entire year. So if anything, I hope the takeaway from this slide is that the rising senior campaigns truly provide a boost. You do not need to be part of the College Express platform in order to see inquiries being delivered. And it also shows the interest level of the students in our system who are really interested in finding schools in their senior year. So this is absolutely a solution that has outcomes that you're looking for and is going to get you in front of the population that you need right now. And finally, I just want to come back to this slide one last time to talk about and focus in on the solutions that the rising senior campaigns provide to the challenges that we are facing today. 
we have names in our system right now, we can turn this campaign on tomorrow and you will start getting leads immediately. It is budget friendly. It is more than 340,000 students that you have access to, especially under 18. Also with religious affiliation, two areas that digital marketing does not allow you to target anymore. And also those non-test takers who are not going to be part of your name buys. And so these students are just online looking for schools to connect with. And so that's where also you'll be able to grab that population that you might not otherwise get. Customized targeting. Again, we're very, this is a very flexible service that allows you to choose your populations, write your content, and really just go after the students that you really know are going to convert. And I truly feel that this is a little lift and we've definitely been able to provide options that are going to allow you to leverage the service in a bunch of different ways, no matter how small your team is or how little time you have available, we can make this work for you. So with that said, thank you so much for joining me today through this product demonstration. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out at info at carnegiehighered.com and we'll be happy to answer any of the questions you have regarding the rising senior campaigns.